and a good Wednesday to you. I'm meteorologist Cindy Fitzgibbon. We are more than halfway now through the month of June, and we've had our share of wet weather days. Nine now, just about a tenth of an inch of rain yesterday. We're going to catch a break from the rain today as this area of low pressure moves out, and we await the next one. This front still stalled to our south, so a lot of clouds around today, but the focus of wet weather coming with this next area of low pressure as it approaches during the day tomorrow. So we're going to try to poke a few holes in the clouds and get a little bit of sunshine today. You can see how overcast it is with a lot of fog near the coastline this morning. Already seeing some breaks off to the west and with time today, more of those big breaks are going to penetrate a little closer to the coastline. So some brightening expected here as we get rid of the low clouds and the fog in Boston. And by lunchtime, I think the skies are brightening just a bit. But look at the wind. It's coming in off the water out of the east southeast about 10 miles per hour. So not terribly strong, but enough to keep it cooler at the coastline with the sea breeze upper 60s to lower 70s. The best we do there, but you get inland more breaks farther from the influence of the water and we're talking about mid to upper 70s could touch 79 with enough sunshine in Norwood today. So a little bit better than it has been. You have evening plans. You're just fine. A lot of clouds around, but it should be dry overnight. The clouds thicken and one or two spot showers may develop by first thing tomorrow morning. It's a little bit muggy tonight. Temperatures holding in the upper 50s and lower 60s and tomorrow is a cloudy day. You will notice the humidity dew points coming up, but the bulk of the showers and even the risk of a thunderstorm coming primarily in the afternoon. Temperatures a little bit cooler tomorrow, upper 60s to lower 70s as we watch this area of low pressure approach. It's going to track right over southern New England and that may focus the heaviest rain off to the north and west. But look where it is on Friday scooting away from us, so improvements will come during the day on Friday. Take a look at the projected rain totals here. Least amounts expected on the Cape this go around. Highest totals Boston North and West, where there is the potential of about a half an inch to an inch of rainfall with this system coming on through. So let's take a closer look at the timeline for you. If you have plans during the day on Thursday, it is not going to be raining all the time through lunchtime, just a couple of showers around. And then in the afternoon and the evening hours, we're going to watch that heavier rain start to spread on in with the frontal boundary and you can see here in a line the potential for some downpours and maybe even some thunderstorms approaching from the west in the evening then coming on through overnight but Friday morning still some pockets of rain around so it's wet for the morning commute heaviest rain should push offshore around lunchtime on Friday and then let the drying begin we're going to dry things out late in the day and that sets us up for a really nice weekend sunshine both Saturday and Sunday and the temperatures start to warm up low 80s on Sunday mid to even some upper 80s possible early next week.